in the uncharted expanses of the Andromeda Galaxy, a place where the fabric of space weaves itself into an intricate tapestry of stars and nebulae, an alien exploration vessel, the Vortex Wanderer, cruised through the void. Its crew, a diverse assembly of beings from the Zerithian Alliance, were seasoned explorers, their eyes set on the unknown, and their hearts beating with the pulse of discovery. As the ship navigated through a particularly desolate sector, a blip on the radar caught the attention of Tavar, the ship's chief science officer. The signal was weak, almost lost amidst the cosmic background noise, yet unmistakably artificial. With a mix of excitement and caution, Captain Lorena ordered a course adjustment. Her curiosity piqued by the potential of uncovering alien technology, or perhaps even establishing first contact with a new civilization. The source of the signal was a spacecraft, adrift and seemingly lifeless, its hull scarred by the ravages of time and space. It was unmistakably human, a relic from a species that had reached out to the stars, only to mysteriously vanish from the cosmic stage. The design was archaic, yet it bore the unmistakable marks of a civilization that had once dreamt of touching the heavens. A boarding party was assembled, and as they breached the vessel's airlock, a chill swept through them, not from the cold of space, but from the realization that they were stepping into a tomb. A snapshot of a long-lost moment. The ship was a ghost, its corridor silent save for the whisper of their own movements. Deep within the ship, they discovered the cryopod, a technological marvel preserving its occupant in a state of suspended animation. Through the frost-covered glass, the figure of a human was visible, his features serene yet etched with the scars of past battles. He was a soldier, his uniform adorned with insignia that spoke of valor and a time when humanity stood amidst the stars, not as explorers, but as warriors. The decision to revive him was not made lightly. The crew debated, their voices echoing in the abandoned halls of the human ship. Some feared the unknown, the potential threat that this being might pose. Others saw an opportunity, a chance to unlock the secrets of humanity's fall and perhaps even to learn from their lost legacy. In the end, curiosity prevailed, driven by the fundamental desire to understand, to reach across the ages and touch the essence of another civilization. The revival process was initiated, a complex interplay of science and technology that slowly breathed warmth back into the soldier's veins, coaxing his heart to beat once more. As his eyes flickered open, revealing a gaze that had witnessed the rise and fall of empires, the crew of the Vortex Wanderer realized that they had awakened more than just a relic of the past. They had unleashed a force, a living echo of humanity's indomitable spirit, into a galaxy that had long since moved on from the tales of human triumphs and tragedies. The soldier's awakening was not just a revival of flesh and blood, but a resurgence of questions long buried, a reminder of the fleeting nature of civilizations and the enduring mystery of what it means to reach for the stars. In the silence of the icy tomb, the echoes of a forgotten war mingled with the whispers of the cosmos, heralding the beginning of a new chapter in the annals of the galaxy. The hum of the Vortex Wanderer's onboard systems provided a steady backdrop as the alien crew gathered around the cryopod, their eyes fixed on the human figure stirring within. The atmosphere was thick with anticipation and a hint of trepidation. The ship's med bay, usually a place of routine procedures and scientific inquiry, had transformed into a stage for a momentous event. Captain Lorena, a figure of authority and calm amidst her diverse crew, watched closely as the ship's medical team, led by Dr. Yalis, a renowned xenobiologist, initiated the resurrection protocol. The process was a delicate dance of technology and biology, as the team worked to stabilize the human's vital signs, carefully monitoring the revival from cryogenic stasis. The human's awakening was a slow emergence from the depths of an artificial slumber. As his consciousness flickered back to life, his first breaths were shallow, his eyes blinking against the soft lights of the med bay. The crew observed in silence, aware of the weight of the moment. This was not merely a scientific endeavor. It was a bridge across time, a connection to a species long gone. Dr. Yalis, with her expertise in alien physiology, had studied the human's biological data extensively. 
yet nothing could fully prepare her for the experience of witnessing his revival. She communicated with her team through a series of intricate gestures and sounds, a language of science and urgency, as they adjusted the pod settings to support his reawakening. The soldier's first conscious moments were marked by confusion. His eyes roamed the room, taking in the sight of the alien beings surrounding him. There was no fear in his gaze, only a profound bewilderment, a mind trying to piece together the fragments of a world it no longer recognized. Captain Lorena stepped forward, her presence commanding yet reassuring. She introduced herself and her crew, her words translated through a device designed to bridge the language divide. She explained their mission, their discovery of his ship, and their intention to revive him. The soldier listened, his expression unreadable, absorbing the reality of his situation. As the initial shock began to subside, the soldier spoke. His voice was hoarse, the words halting as he asked about his crew, his mission and the fate of his world. The crew shared what little they knew of humanity's history, the tales and artifacts scattered across the stars, painting a picture of a civilization that had reached great heights before its mysterious disappearance. The Med Bay became a place of exchange, not just of knowledge, but of understanding. The soldier, whose name was revealed to be Captain Jonathan Hale, spoke of his past, of battles fought and comrades lost. The crew listened, their perceptions of humanity expanding beyond the abstract to the deeply personal. As the resurrection protocol concluded, and Captain Hale's strength returned, the gravity of their situation settled in. They had awakened a being from a bygone era, a warrior forged in the crucibles of conflict. The crew, once merely explorers, found themselves at the crossroads of history and the unknown, their mission intertwined with the legacy of a species that had once dreamed of conquering the stars. In the quiet of the Med Bay, surrounded by beings from a future he could never have imagined, Captain Hale stood as a testament to humanity's enduring spirit, a lone survivor bearing the weight of his civilization's dreams and failures. As he stepped out of the cryopod, his resolve solidified, ready to face a galaxy that had moved on without him, yet now looked to him for answers from the past and perhaps guidance into the future. The medbay's atmosphere shifted from clinical sterility to a palpable tension as Captain Hale, now fully conscious and aware of his surroundings, confronted the reality of his new existence among aliens. The crew of the Vortex Wanderer, though seasoned in the art of exploration and first contacts, found themselves navigating uncharted waters as they attempted to bridge a gap not just of species, but of time itself. Captain Lorena, her diplomatic acumen as vital now as her command skills, facilitated a dialogue between Hale and her crew, aiming to establish a foundation of trust and mutual understanding. Yet the presence of a human, especially one from a militant past, introduced an undercurrent of unease that resonated through the ship's corridors. Hale, grappling with the enormity of his situation, struggled to find his place among these future denizens of the stars. His initial interactions were marked by a guarded curiosity, his military training surfacing in his demeanor and approach. The crew, for their part, exhibited a mixture of fascination and apprehension, aware of the historical prowess and potential volatility of the human species. As the first contact unfolded, Dr. Yalis and her team continued to monitor Hale's health, ensuring his transition from cryostasis to active engagement did not compromise his well-being. Their medical observations, though clinically detached, could not fully mask their intrigue about the resilience and adaptability of human biology. The ship's cultural specialist, Zerath, took on the role of educating Hale about the current state of the galaxy, the political landscapes, and the various species that now navigated the stars. These sessions, intended to acclimate Hale to his new reality, also served as a window for the crew into the mindset and values of a human warrior from an era long past. Hale's perspective on the galaxy's current affairs was uniquely colored by his historical vantage point, offering insights that were at times jarring, yet undeniably valuable. His tactical assessments of the political tensions and conflicts he learned about revealed a strategic mind honed by years of command and combat, Despite the efforts to foster understanding, the stark differences in worldview and experience between Hale and his alien counterparts occasionally led to friction. 
Moments of misunderstanding and cultural missteps underscored the challenge of integrating a being from a bygone human era into a future where humanity was but a memory. As the initial days of first contact evolved into a routine of sorts, the ship's crew began to appreciate the depth of Hale's adaptability and his earnest efforts to comprehend his new environment. Likewise, Hale, though often ensnared by his longing for a home that no longer existed, started to recognize the opportunity before him. To be a bridge between his lost civilization and the galaxy's current inhabitants, the climax of these early interactions came when Hale was invited to the ship's command deck. A gesture of trust, and an acknowledgement of his status as a capable leader, albeit from another time. As he stood beside Captain Lorena, gazing out at the star-strewn expanse, a silent understanding passed between them. An acknowledgement of the shared burden of command, and the unspoken hope that, together, they might navigate the uncertain waters of this new chapter in galactic history. Thus, the seeds of a tentative alliance were sown, rooted in the shared recognition of the challenges and possibilities that lay ahead. For Hale, it was a chance to find purpose in a world far removed from the one he had known. For the crew of the Vortex Wanderer, it was an opportunity to learn from a relic of the past, a being who embodied the resilience and complexity of the human spirit. Captain Jonathan Hale's presence aboard the Vortex Wanderer gradually transformed from an anomaly to a point of deep interest for the crew. His stories, though filled with the echoes of battles and the specter of a lost humanity, brought a new dimension to the ship's mission. The crew, particularly those versed in history and military strategy, found themselves drawn to the human's detailed recounting of Earth's past, his strategic insights, and the tales of human resilience and determination. As Hale adapted to his new environment, his interactions with the crew shifted. His insights into tactical maneuvers, psychological warfare, and strategic planning became a focal point, sparking discussions and debates among the crew members. Some viewed his knowledge as a treasure trove of untapped potential, a window into the art of war from a species known for its tenacity. Others, however, regarded his war-torn perspective with a blend of respect and unease, pondering the implications of humanity's martial legacy. During a series of informal gatherings, Hale shared stories of Earth's history, its conflicts, and the pivotal moments that defined human civilization. These narratives, rich with the lore of heroes and the tragedy of loss, resonated with the crew, offering them a glimpse into the soul of a vanished species. His recounting of historical battles, strategies, and the evolution of human warfare offered the crew an unparalleled lesson in military history, seen through the lens of a participant and scholar. The ship's strategic analysts, including a keen-minded tactician named Vrex, engaged Hale in deep discussions, dissecting famous earthly military campaigns and comparing them with interstellar conflicts. Vrex, who had studied a myriad of alien warfare techniques, found Hale's perspectives refreshing and unsettlingly direct a contrast to the often convoluted warfare strategies encountered in the galaxy. These exchanges were not merely academic. As the Vortex Wanderer navigated through a sector fraught with tension and latent conflict, the crew began to see Hale's experience in a new light. The galaxy was a place of shifting alliances and simmering hostilities, not unlike the historical Earth Hale described. His knowledge, born from a planet's tumultuous history, suddenly became a tangible asset, offering potential pathways through the minefields of galactic diplomacy and warfare. Captain Lorena, recognizing the value in Hale's experiences, initiated a series of strategic simulations, incorporating human military strategies into the ship's defense protocols. These exercises, initially met with skepticism by some crew members, gradually revealed their merit showcasing innovative approaches and tactics previously unconsidered by the ship's strategists. As the crew grappled with these new concepts, a sense of respect for humanity's strategic acumen began to permeate the discussions. Hale, once an oddity from a bygone era, was now seen as a repository of knowledge, a living bridge to the strategic innovations of a species that had, in its time, mastered the art of survival against all odds. However, this growing respect was tinged with a sobering realization. 
The tales of Earth's wars, its victories, and defeats were a testament to the duality of human nature, their capacity for both great heroism and profound destruction. The crew of the Vortex Wanderer found themselves pondering a profound question. What might the galaxy look like if humanity, with its fierce will to endure, had not vanished into the annals of cosmic history? In this new light, Captain Hale was no longer just a survivor from a lost world. He was a symbol of what had been and what could have been, a reminder of the fragile line between greatness and ruin that all civilizations, human or alien, must navigate. As the Vortex Wanderer continued its voyage through the cosmos, the integration of Captain Jonathan Hale's strategic insights into the crew's protocols sparked a transformation within the ship's operations. However, this integration was not without its consequences. The crew's increasing reliance on Hale's military expertise began to stir unease among some members, who viewed this shift with skepticism and growing concern. Hale's role aboard the ship evolved beyond that of a historical consultant to becoming a key advisor on tactical and strategic matters. His involvement in planning and simulations brought a new edge to the crew's approach to potential conflicts, emphasizing preemptive strategies and decisive actions that contrasted with the Zerithian Alliance's traditionally more diplomatic and cautious stance. The crew's perception of Hale shifted as his influence grew. To some, he was a beacon of wisdom, his experience a valuable asset in a galaxy where threats lurked around every corner. To others, he represented a dangerous ideology, a reminder of a species that had, in its pursuit of victory, ultimately faced its own demise. This division began to manifest in subtle ways, from whispered conversations in the corridors to open debates during strategic meetings. During a routine mission to a contested star system, the Vortex Wanderer encountered a situation that tested the crew's new tactical approach. An emerging conflict between two local alien factions threatened to engulf the system, and the Wanderer found itself in a precarious position. Drawing on Hale's advice, Captain Lerina opted for a show of force, a tactic aimed at deterring aggression and asserting the ship's neutrality and strength. The maneuver was successful in preventing immediate conflict, but the fallout was significant. The display of military power was met with mixed reactions from the local factions and within the ship's own crew. Some saw it as a necessary assertion of strength in a situation where diplomacy would have faltered. Others viewed it as a dangerous escalation, a step toward a more aggressive posture that could provoke hostility rather than prevent it. The incident sparked a broader debate among the crew about their mission and identity. Were they explorers and diplomats, or had they become something closer to the soldiers of Hale's era? The ship's psychologist, Dr. Kellen, noted an increase in tension and anxiety among the crew, a sign that the integration of human military strategies was affecting the very fabric of their collective psyche. Captain Lorena found herself at the heart of the storm, wrestling with the dual responsibilities of safeguarding her crew and navigating the ethical quandaries posed by their new direction. Her conversations with Hale grew more intense, probing not just the tactics of war, but the underlying philosophies that drove human conflict. As the Vortex Wanderer journeyed onward, the shadows of humanity's warlike past loomed larger, casting a pall over the ship's mission. The crew, once unified in their quest for knowledge and understanding, now faced a divisive question. How much of humanity's legacy should they embrace, and at what cost? In this atmosphere of doubt and introspection, the crew of the Vortex Wanderer had to confront not only the external challenges of the galaxy, but also the internal struggle over their identity. The influence of a single human, a soldier from a bygone age, had become a catalyst for a broader examination of their values and purpose, setting the stage for a journey that would test the very essence of their mission and their place in the cosmos. The aftermath of the Vortex Wanderer's forceful intervention in the contested star system lingered like a shadow over the crew, deepening the rifts and fueling a period of introspection and debate. It was during this time of uncertainty that the ship received a distress signal from a nearby system, one that would challenge their principles and force them to confront the practical implications of their evolving stance. The signal originated from a planet called Serathine a member of a minor alliance that had previously remained neutral in the galaxy's broader conflicts. 
They were now under threat from an aggressive neighboring civilization, the Krillians, who sought to expand their territory regardless of the diplomatic norms that had long governed interstellar relations. Captain Lorena, recognizing the potential for the Vortex Wanderer to act as a mediator and protector, saw an opportunity to redefine their mission in a manner that balanced their newfound assertiveness with their core values of diplomacy and aid. However, she also understood that this situation might require more than just negotiation. It might need the strategic and tactical acumen that Hale could provide. With mixed feelings, the crew set a course for Serethine, preparing for a situation that could escalate into conflict. Upon arrival, they were met with a scene of desperation. Serethine's defense forces were ill-equipped to repel a sustained assault, and the Krillians were poised to invade. Hale brought into the strategic planning sessions, suggested a course of action that was bold yet fraught with risk. He proposed that the Vortex Wanderer intervene directly, not just as a diplomatic envoy, but as a deterrent force, positioning themselves between Serethine and the Krillian fleet. His plan also included clandestine support to strengthen Serethine's defenses, leveraging his knowledge of guerrilla tactics and psychological warfare to even the odds. The crew's response to Hale's proposal was mixed. Some saw it as a necessary evolution in their mission, an embrace of a more active role in galactic affairs that combined diplomacy with decisive action. Others viewed it as a perilous step toward militarization, fearing that it would set a precedent for future engagements and alter the ship's identity irreversibly. Despite the reservations, Lorena approved the plan swayed by the urgent need to prevent a humanitarian crisis and the lack of viable alternatives. The Vortex Wanderer took up its position, its weapon systems, rarely used and primarily defensive, now active and ready. As the Krillian fleet approached, a tense standoff ensued. The Wanderer's presence, combined with the covert bolstering of Serethine's defenses, caused the Krillians to hesitate, buying time for negotiations. Hail alongside the ship's diplomats, worked tirelessly to broker a ceasefire, employing a blend of diplomatic overtures and subtle displays of strength. After tense hours that stretched into days, the Krillians agreed to a temporary retreat, leaving Serethine's sovereignty intact. The planet's leaders expressed their gratitude, and the crew of the Vortex Wanderer, though exhausted, felt a renewed sense of purpose. However, the operation left lingering questions among the crew about their future. The alliance with Serethine, while successful, had drawn them into the very fabric of galactic politics and conflict they had long observed from a distance. Hale's role, pivotal in the resolution, underscored the growing complexity of their mission, blending the lines between exploration, diplomacy, and defense. In the quiet aftermath, as the Wanderer resumed its journey through the stars, the crew grappled with their evolving identity, contemplating the balance between their ideals and the realities of a galaxy where peace was often tenuous. The reluctant alliance on Serethine had not only averted a crisis, but it also set the stage for a new chapter in the ship's odyssey, one where the echoes of humanity's martial past would continue to resonate with their aspirations for a peaceful future. The successful intervention on Serethine marked a turning point for the Vortex Wanderer's crew, catalyzing a shift in their role within the galaxy. The realization that their actions could directly influence the balance of power and peace in the region weighed heavily on them, prompting a re-evaluation of their capabilities and purpose. As the Wanderer continued its journey, its reputation as a mediator capable of decisive action spread, attracting the attention of various galactic entities. The crew found themselves increasingly called upon to assist in resolving disputes or to deter potential aggressions, roles that blurred the lines between their exploratory mission and emergent responsibilities as peacekeepers. Amidst this transformation, Captain Hale's expertise became an invaluable asset, his insights shaping the crew's approach to these new challenges. However, his influence also sparked a philosophical debate among the crew members regarding the ship's evolving identity and the ethical implications of their newfound assertiveness. Recognizing the need to be better prepared for potential conflicts, Captain Lorena initiated a comprehensive review of the ship's tactical capabilities and defensive systems. 
This review, guided by Hale's strategic acumen, led to a series of intensive training sessions for the crew, focusing on combat readiness, crisis management, and strategic simulations. The training was rigorous, blending theoretical knowledge with practical exercises designed to enhance the crew's responsiveness and adaptability in various scenarios. Hale, alongside the ship's tactical officers, devised simulations that tested the crew's ability to navigate complex conflict situations, emphasizing the importance of strategy, teamwork, and ethical decision-making. As the crew honed their skills, the ship itself underwent modifications. The engineering team, inspired by Hale's suggestions and the ship's recent experiences, upgraded the defensive systems and implemented new technologies to enhance the Wanderer's capability to protect itself and others without resorting to unnecessary violence. Despite the focus on preparation, a sense of unease lingered. Some crew members struggled with the implications of their shifting role, concerned that they were straying too far from their original mission of exploration and discovery. These concerns led to heartfelt discussions and debates, reflecting a diverse array of perspectives on the ship's identity and the right course of action in a galaxy where ideals often collided with harsh realities. Amidst these preparations and philosophical deliberations, the Vortex Wanderer received a distress call from a coalition of planets facing a threat from an expanding authoritarian regime. The coalition sought the Wanderer's assistance, not just for its diplomatic clout, but also for its ability to stand firm in the face of aggression. As the crew set course for the coalition's system, the air was thick with anticipation and anxiety. The upcoming engagement would be a true test of their new capabilities and their commitment to balancing peacekeeping with their principles of exploration and non-interference. In this charged atmosphere, Captain Lorena and Hale shared a moment of reflection, acknowledging the journey that had led them to this point and the uncertain path ahead. They recognized that the upcoming challenge would not only determine the fate of the Coalition, but also shape the future of the Vortex Wanderer and its crew, defining their place in a galaxy where the echoes of past conflicts reverberated into the present. As the Vortex Wanderer approached the Coalition system, tensions aboard the ship were palpable. The crew, though trained and prepared for conflict, grappled with the weight of their newfound role as peacekeepers and defenders of the vulnerable. The looming threat of the authoritarian regime cast a shadow over their mission, reminding them of the fragility of peace in the galaxy. Upon arrival, the Wanderer found itself thrust into the midst of chaos. The Coalition's planets were under siege by the authoritarian forces, their defenses strained and their populations gripped by fear. The Wanderer's presence, though initially met with hope and relief, also stirred anxiety among the Coalition's leaders who questioned whether an alien vessel could truly turn the tide of the conflict. Captain Lorena, alongside Hale and the ship's diplomatic team, engaged in frantic negotiations with the Coalition's leaders, seeking to establish a unified strategy to repel the invaders. Their discussions, fueled by urgency and determination, resulted in a plan that leveraged the Wanderer's unique capabilities alongside the Coalition's resources. The battle for Zyphora, one of the Coalition's key planets commenced with a ferocity that shook the very foundations of the system. The authoritarian forces, emboldened by their numerical superiority and ruthless tactics, launched a relentless assault on the planet's defenses, intent on securing its resources and subjugating its population. The Wanderer, positioned at the forefront of the defense, became a beacon of hope for the beleaguered Coalition forces. Its advanced weaponry and strategic guidance provided a crucial advantage, allowing the defenders to repel wave after wave of enemy attacks and hold their ground against overwhelming odds. Hale, drawing upon his experience as a military leader, coordinated the defense efforts with precision and skill, orchestrating counterattacks and strategic withdrawals that kept the enemy off balance. His presence on the battlefield, alongside the Wanderer's crew, inspired courage and determination among the Coalition forces rallying them to stand firm in the face of adversity. As the battle raged on, the Wanderer's crew faced their own trials and tribulations. The ship's systems strained under the intensity of combat, forcing the engineering team to work tirelessly to keep them operational. Medical personnel tended to the wounded, their skills and compassion providing solace amidst the chaos of war. In the midst of the fighting, 
Captain Lorena and Hale shared a moment of quiet reflection, acknowledging the gravity of the situation and the sacrifices that lay ahead. Their bond, forged through shared challenges and mutual respect, strengthened their resolve to see the battle through to its conclusion, whatever the cost. As the sun set over Zyphora, the tide of battle began to turn. The coalition forces, bolstered by the Wanderer's support and inspired by their unwavering determination, launched a daring counteroffensive that caught the enemy off guard. In a decisive victory, they repelled the invaders and secured the planet's freedom, marking a triumph of unity and resilience in the face of tyranny. As the dust settled and the cheers of victory echoed across Zyphora, the crew of the Vortex Wanderer stood united, their actions a testament to the power of cooperation and courage in the darkest of times. Yet, amidst the celebration, they knew that the battle for peace in the galaxy was far from over, and that their journey was only just beginning. The victory on Zephora was a beacon of hope in the darkness, but it also served as a grim reminder of the ongoing struggle for peace in the galaxy. As the Vortex Wanderer's crew celebrated their success, they knew that the authoritarian regime would not relent in its quest for dominance, and that more battles lay ahead. In the aftermath of the siege, the Wanderer became a symbol of resistance, its name whispered in hushed tones across the galaxy. The crew, hailed as heroes by the Coalition's people, found themselves thrust into the spotlight, their actions scrutinized and their influence amplified. Captain Lorena, mindful of the weight of their newfound renown, sought to use their status to bolster diplomatic efforts and rally support for the Coalition's cause. With Hale by her side, she embarked on a series of diplomatic missions, traveling to neighboring systems to garner allies and resources for the ongoing struggle against tyranny. Meanwhile, tensions aboard the Wanderer simmered as the crew grappled with the emotional toll of their experiences. The specter of war hung heavy over the ship, its corridors filled with whispered conversations and haunted gazes. For some, the adrenaline-fueled rush of combat gave way to a sense of emptiness and despair, while others found solace in the camaraderie forged in the crucible of battle. Amidst the turmoil, Hale emerged as a stabilizing force, his unwavering resolve and stoic demeanor providing a source of strength for his fellow crew members. Though haunted by memories of past conflicts, he remained focused on the task at hand, channeling his experiences into guiding the ship through the turbulent waters of war. As the Wanderer continued its diplomatic efforts, it became increasingly clear that the conflict with the authoritarian regime was not isolated to a single system. Reports of skirmishes and incursions spread like wildfire, painting a grim picture of a galaxy on the brink of all-out war. The crew, faced with the reality of a galaxy torn apart by strife, grappled with their role in shaping its future. Some questioned the morality of their actions, wondering whether their interventions were truly bringing about peace or merely prolonging the cycle of violence. Others, emboldened by their successes, embraced their duty as defenders of the weak and champions of justice. In the midst of these doubts and uncertainties, Captain Lorena remained steadfast in her commitment to the Wanderer's mission. With Hale's guidance, she charted a course through the chaos, seeking out opportunities for diplomacy and reconciliation even as the drums of war grew louder with each passing day. As the Wanderer ventured deeper into the heart of the conflict, the crew braced themselves for the challenges that lay ahead. They knew that the path to peace would be fraught with peril, but they also knew that they carried with them the hope of countless beings whose lives hung in the balance. And with that knowledge they pressed onward, their resolve unyielding in the face of adversity. Amidst the chaos of war, Whispers of betrayal echoed through the corridors of the Vortex Wanderer, casting a shadow of doubt over the crew's unity. Rumors of infiltrators and spies spread like wildfire, sowing seeds of distrust among even the most steadfast members of the crew. Captain Lorena, ever vigilant in her duties, ordered a thorough investigation into the source of these rumors. Working alongside Hale and the ship's security team, she delved into the ship's logs and communications records, searching for any evidence of subterfuge or treachery. As the investigation unfolded, tensions aboard the Wanderer reached a boiling point. Accusations flew, 
alliances crumbled, and paranoia gripped the crew like a vice. The once unified mission to bring peace to the galaxy seemed on the brink of collapse, torn apart by suspicion and fear. In the midst of this turmoil, a shocking revelation came to light. There was indeed a traitor in their midst, a member of the crew who had been secretly communicating with agents of the authoritarian regime. The discovery sent shockwaves through the ship, shattering the fragile trust that had bound the crew together. The identity of the traitor, a seasoned officer who had served aboard the Wanderer for years, sent ripples of disbelief through the crew. How could someone they had fought alongside, someone they had trusted with their lives, betray them in such a manner? Captain Lorena, faced with the grim reality of betrayal within her own ranks, made the difficult decision to confront the traitor head-on. With Hale and a select team of loyal officers at her side, she confronted the perpetrator, demanding answers and accountability for their actions. What followed was a tense standoff as accusations were hurled and defenses raised. The traitor, desperate to preserve their own life and reputation, attempted to justify their actions, claiming that they had been coerced into collaboration by threats to their family. But Captain Lorena would not be swayed by excuses or pleas for mercy. With unwavering resolve, she ordered the traitor to be detained and brought to justice, ensuring that their betrayal would not go unpunished. As the Wanderer continued on its journey through the war-torn galaxy, the specter of betrayal lingered a constant reminder of the dangers that lurked in the shadows. Yet, amidst the darkness, a glimmer of hope remained. The crew's commitment to each other and their shared mission, a beacon of light in a universe consumed by conflict and deceit. The revelation of betrayal aboard the Vortex Wanderer sent shockwaves through the crew, shaking their faith in each other and the mission they had sworn to uphold. As they grappled with the aftermath, Captain Lorena knew that they could ill afford to dwell on their losses. The war against the authoritarian regime raged on, and the Wanderer's role in shaping its outcome was more critical than ever. With the traitor dealt with and security measures tightened, Captain Lorena and Hale convened a meeting of the ship's senior officers to discuss their next course of action. The situation was dire. The authoritarian regime's forces were advancing on multiple fronts, their relentless aggression threatening to engulf entire star systems in conflict. Faced with overwhelming odds, the crew knew that they needed to strike at the heart of the regime's power if they were to have any hope of turning the tide of war. After careful deliberation, they devised a daring plan, a covert infiltration of the regime's capital planet, where they would gather intelligence and sow seeds of dissent among the population. The mission was fraught with peril, requiring stealth, cunning, and a willingness to risk everything for the chance to weaken the regime's hold on the galaxy. Yet the crew knew that they were the galaxy's last hope, and they resolved to see their mission through to the bitter end. Disguised as merchants and traders, the Wanderer's crew infiltrated the capital planet under the cover of darkness, slipping past the regime's patrols and surveillance systems with the expertise of seasoned spies. Their goal was twofold, to gather vital intelligence on the regime's military capabilities and to plant seeds of dissent among the populace, sowing the seeds of rebellion that would eventually blossom into full-scale resistance. As they moved through the crowded streets and bustling markets of the capital, the crew encountered a populace living in fear under the regime's oppressive rule. Yet, amidst the despair, they also found pockets of resistance individuals and groups who dared to defy the regime's iron grip on power. Working alongside these brave souls, the Wanderer's crew gathered intelligence on the regime's military installations, supply lines, and strategic vulnerabilities. They passed along this information to the coalition forces, providing them with the vital intel they needed to plan their next moves in the ongoing conflict. Yet, their mission was not without its dangers, the regime's agents lurked around every corner, their watchful eyes scanning for any signs of dissent. The crew had to tread carefully, avoiding detection at all costs, while still carrying out their mission to destabilize the regime's hold on power. As they navigated the treacherous landscape of the capital planet, the crew of the Vortex Wanderer knew that they were playing a dangerous game, one that could spell the difference between victory and defeat in the war for the galaxy's future. 
but they also knew that they were fighting for something greater than themselves, something worth risking everything for. The hope of a better tomorrow, where freedom and justice reigned supreme. And with that knowledge burning bright in their hearts, they pressed onward, their resolve unshakable in the face of adversity. The crew of the Vortex Wanderer operated in the shadows of the authoritarian regime's capital, their every move fraught with danger. Yet despite the risks, they remained undeterred in their mission to gather intelligence and foment rebellion among the populace. Disguised among the oppressed citizens, the crew worked tirelessly to gather information on the regime's military installations, supply routes, and key figures. They liaised with underground resistance groups, sharing their knowledge and expertise in guerrilla tactics and covert operations. One particular resistance cell, led by a charismatic leader named Kayla, emerged as a beacon of hope in the darkness. With the Wanderer's support, Kayla and her followers launched a series of daring attacks on the regime's infrastructure, striking at its foundations and sowing chaos and confusion among its ranks. The crew's efforts did not go unnoticed by the regime, however. As their actions escalated, so too did the regime's response, unleashing a wave of repression and violence against anyone suspected of dissent. The Wanderer's crew found themselves hunted by the regime's agents, their lives hanging in the balance with each passing moment. In the face of mounting danger, Captain Lorena and Hale knew that they needed to extract the crew from the capital planet before it was too late. With the help of their allies in the Resistance, they orchestrated a daring escape plan, utilizing the Wanderer's advanced technology to evade detection and slip past the regime's defenses. The escape was fraught with peril, with the crew facing numerous obstacles and close calls along the way. Yet through skill, determination, and a healthy dose of luck, they managed to reach the safety of the Wanderer's waiting embrace, their mission accomplished, but their hearts heavy with the knowledge of the suffering they had witnessed. As the Wanderer made its way back to the relative safety of Coalition territory, the crew reflected on the events that had transpired. Though their mission had been a success, they knew that the fight against the authoritarian regime was far from over. They had planted the seeds of rebellion, but it would be up to the people of the capital planet to nurture them into full bloom. And so, as they continued their journey through the stars, the crew of the Vortex Wanderer remained ever vigilant, knowing that their actions had set in motion a chain of events that would shape the fate of the galaxy for years to come. And though the road ahead would be fraught with peril and uncertainty, they faced it with courage and determination, united in their quest for freedom and justice for all beings in the cosmos. Returning to Coalition territory, the crew of the Vortex Wanderer brought with them valuable intelligence and a renewed sense of purpose. Their success in infiltrating the authoritarian regime's capital had bolstered the Coalition's resolve, galvanizing them for the battles yet to come. As they debriefed with Coalition leaders, Captain Lorena and Hale outlined their findings and proposed strategies for leveraging the information to gain an advantage over the regime. The Coalition's military commanders, recognizing the significance of the intelligence, began formulating plans for a decisive strike against key regime strongholds. The Wanderer's crew, meanwhile, prepared for their next mission, to provide support and assistance to Coalition forces as they launched their assault on the regime's territories. With their advanced technology and tactical expertise, they would play a crucial role in the upcoming battles, turning the tide of the war in the Coalition's favor. As the Coalition mobilized its forces, the Wanderer joined a massive armada gathering on the outskirts of regime-controlled space. Ships of all shapes and sizes, crewed by beings from across the galaxy, assembled in a show of unity and strength, ready to face the regime's formidable military head-on. The atmosphere aboard the Wanderer was tense as the crew awaited the signal to engage. Each member knew that they were about to embark on the most dangerous mission of their lives, one that would test their skills, their courage, and their resolve like never before. Finally, the signal came, and the armada surged forward, plunging into the heart of regime territory with guns blazing. The Wanderer took up a position at the forefront of the assault its weapon systems primed and ready to unleash devastation upon the regime's defenses. The battle that followed was fierce and unforgiving. With ships on both sides, 
sustaining heavy losses as they clashed in a swirling maelstrom of fire and steel. The Wanderer's crew fought with determination and valor, their every action guided by a single purpose, to secure victory for the coalition and bring an end to the regime's tyranny once and for all. As the battle raged on, the tide began to turn in the coalition's favor. With the Wanderer leading the charge, the regime's forces were pushed back, their defenses crumbling under the relentless assault of the Armada. In a final desperate gambit, the regime's leaders unleashed their most powerful weapons, hoping to turn the tide of battle in their favor. But the coalition, fueled by their determination to end the regime's reign of terror, pressed onward, undeterred by the overwhelming odds stacked against them. And then, in a blinding flash of light, it was over. The regime's forces were defeated, their leaders captured or killed, and their hold on the galaxy shattered forever. The coalition had emerged victorious, thanks in no small part to the courage and sacrifice of the crew of the Vortex Wanderer. As the dust settled and the smoke cleared, the crew of the Wanderer surveyed the battlefield, their hearts heavy with the weight of the lives lost but buoyed by the knowledge that they had made a difference that their actions had brought hope and freedom to countless beings across the galaxy. And as they looked to the stars, they knew that their journey was far from over. There would be new challenges, new battles to fight, but they would face them together, united in their quest to build a better future for all who called the cosmos home. With the defeat of the authoritarian regime, the galaxy breathed a collective sigh of relief, but the aftermath of the conflict brought its own set of challenges. The crew of the Vortex Wanderer found themselves thrust into a new role, that of peacemakers and rebuilders, tasked with healing the wounds of war and forging a path toward reconciliation. As the Wanderer returned to Coalition territory, Captain Lorena and Hale worked closely with Coalition leaders to establish a framework for post-war reconstruction and reconciliation. Their goal was not only to rebuild the war-torn regions, but also to foster understanding and cooperation among the diverse peoples of the galaxy. The crew of the Wanderer played a crucial role in these efforts, utilizing their expertise in diplomacy, technology, and resource management to aid in the reconstruction process. They worked side by side with local communities, helping to rebuild homes, infrastructure, and livelihoods devastated by the conflict. But perhaps even more important than the physical reconstruction was the work of reconciliation, the process of bridging the divides that had torn the galaxy apart and fostering a sense of unity and understanding among its inhabitants. Through a series of diplomatic initiatives and cultural exchanges, the crew of the Wanderer sought to promote dialogue and cooperation among formerly warring factions. They organized peace summits and cultural festivals, bringing together beings from across the galaxy to celebrate their shared heritage and forge new bonds of friendship and cooperation. The road to reconciliation was not easy, fraught as it was with centuries of mistrust and animosity. Yet through patience, perseverance, and a genuine commitment to peace, the crew of the Wanderer began to see the fruits of their labor. Slowly but surely, old wounds began to heal, and bitter enemies became reluctant allies. The scars of war remained, but they served as a reminder of the galaxy's resilience and capacity for transformation in the face of adversity. As the Wanderer continued its journey through the stars, its crew reflected on the lessons they had learned and the bonds they had forged along the way. They knew that the path to lasting peace would be long and challenging, but they also knew that they had taken the first steps toward a brighter future for all who called the cosmos home. And so, with hearts full of hope and determination, they pressed onward, their quest for peace and understanding guiding them through the endless expanse of the universe. For in the end, they knew that it was not the battles they had won, or the enemies they had defeated that would define their legacy, but the bonds of friendship and cooperation they had forged in the crucible of war. As the Vortex Wanderer continued its journey through the cosmos, the crew found themselves haunted by echoes of the past. Memories of the war against the authoritarian regime lingered like specters, their presence a constant reminder of the sacrifices made and the lives lost in the pursuit of peace. For Captain Lorena and Hale, the weight of these memories was particularly heavy. 
They had led their crew through the darkest of times, faced unimaginable challenges, and emerged victorious against all odds. Yet the scars of war ran deep, etched into their very souls by the trials they had endured. As they grappled with their own demons, Captain Lorena and Hale found solace in each other's company. They shared their stories, their fears, and their hopes for the future, finding strength in their shared commitment to building a better galaxy for generations to come. But amidst the shadows of the past, new challenges emerged on the horizon. Rumors began to spread of a new threat lurking in the depths of space, a shadowy force that threatened to plunge the galaxy into darkness once more. With tensions rising and the specter of war looming once again, the crew of the Vortex Wanderer knew that they could not afford to rest on their laurels. They had fought too hard and sacrificed too much to allow the galaxy to fall back into chaos and despair. And so, with hearts full of determination and resolve, they set out once more into the unknown, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. For though the echoes of the past may linger, they would not allow them to dictate the future. The crew of the Vortex Wanderer would continue to journey through the stars, guided by their unwavering commitment to peace, justice, and the pursuit of a better tomorrow. As the Vortex Wanderer ventured deeper into uncharted territory, the crew found themselves confronting the unknown with a mixture of trepidation and excitement. They had faced many challenges and triumphed over adversity, but the mysteries of the cosmos still held countless secrets waiting to be uncovered. Captain Lorena, ever the steady hand at the helm, guided the ship through the vast expanse of space, her eyes fixed on the horizon as she charted a course into the unknown. With each passing star system, the crew encountered new wonders and dangers, their senses heightened by the thrill of discovery. Yet amidst the excitement of exploration, a sense of unease lingered. The rumors of a new threat still weighed heavily on their minds, a reminder that danger could lurk around any corner in the vastness of space. As they journeyed deeper into the unknown, the crew encountered strange phenomena and alien civilizations unlike any they had ever seen. They made contact with beings whose forms and customs defied comprehension, forging friendships and alliances that transcended the boundaries of language and culture. But with each new encounter came new challenges, as the crew navigated diplomatic minefields and navigated treacherous terrain in their quest for knowledge and understanding. They faced hostile alien species and encountered ancient relics of long-lost civilizations, each discovery bringing them closer to uncovering the truth behind the rumors of a looming threat. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, the crew of the Vortex Wanderer pressed onward their resolve unshaken by the trials they faced. For though the path ahead was fraught with danger and uncertainty, they knew that they carried with them the hopes and dreams of all who had come before them, a beacon of light in the darkness of the unknown, and with that knowledge burning bright in their hearts, they continued their journey through the stars, ready to face whatever challenges the cosmos had in store. In the vast expanse of space, amidst the swirling nebulae and distant stars, the crew of the Vortex Wanderer detected a faint, enigmatic signal emanating from the depths of a remote star system. The signal, unlike any they had encountered before, pulsed with an otherworldly energy, drawing the Wanderer ever closer, as if beckoning them to unravel its mysteries. Intrigued by the signal's origin, Captain Lorena ordered the Wanderer to alter course and investigate further. As the ship approached the star system, the signal grew stronger, its eerie resonance echoing through the ship's sensors and instruments. With bated breath, the crew prepared for what lay ahead, their hearts pounding with excitement and apprehension. They knew that they were on the brink of a discovery that could forever alter their understanding of the cosmos, and they embraced the unknown with a sense of awe and wonder. As the Wanderer entered the star system, they discovered a sight unlike anything they had ever seen a massive, ancient structure floating amidst the void, its surface adorned with intricate patterns and symbols that seemed to pulse with life. The signal emanated from the heart of the structure, its source shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Determined to uncover the truth behind the enigmatic signal, the crew of the Wanderer embarked on a daring expedition to explore the structure's interior. With each step, they encountered strange and wondrous sights, 
from vast chambers filled with pulsating energy to labyrinthine corridors lined with strange hieroglyphs. But as they delved deeper into the heart of the structure, they also encountered danger as ancient traps and guardians sought to thwart their progress at every turn. Yet, through courage and cunning, they pressed onward, driven by their insatiable curiosity and thirst for knowledge. And then, at last, they reached the source of the signal, a chamber bathed in ethereal light where a mysterious artifact lay dormant upon a pedestal of pure energy. As they approached, they sensed a presence watching them, a consciousness that transcended time and space. With trembling hands, they reached out to touch the artifact, and in that moment, they were engulfed in a blinding flash of light. When the light faded, they found themselves standing upon the bridge of the Wanderer once more, the artifact cradled in their hands. As they gazed upon the artifact, they knew that they had unlocked a doorway to new realms of possibility, a gateway to untold wonders waiting to be explored. And as they set course for the next destination on their journey, they did so with a sense of excitement and anticipation, eager to uncover the secrets that lay hidden among the stars. With the mysterious artifact safely aboard the Vortex Wanderer, the crew embarked on their journey to unravel its secrets. As they studied the artifact, they discovered that it held within it a wealth of knowledge, encoded in intricate patterns and symbols that defied conventional understanding. Working together, the crew deciphered the artifact's messages, unlocking the secrets of ancient civilizations and uncovering truths about the nature of the cosmos itself. They learned of cosmic phenomena beyond their wildest imaginations, of beings that transcended mortal understanding, and of a vast interconnected network that spanned the entire universe. But amidst the wonder of their discoveries, they also uncovered darker truths of ancient conflicts that had shaped the destiny of worlds, of cataclysms that had wiped out entire civilizations, and of cosmic forces that threatened to tear the very fabric of reality asunder. As they delved deeper into the mysteries of the artifact, the crew found themselves drawn into a cosmic struggle of unimaginable proportions. They learned of a looming threat that threatened to consume the galaxy, a darkness that sought to extinguish all life and plunge the cosmos into eternal night. Realizing the gravity of the situation, Captain Lorena and Hale knew that they could not face this threat alone. They reached out to their allies across the galaxy, forging new alliances and strengthening old ones in preparation for the coming storm. With the artifact as their guide, they embarked on a quest to gather the tools and knowledge they would need to confront the darkness that lay ahead. They sought out ancient relics and powerful artifacts, each one a weapon against the encroaching shadows that threatened to engulf the galaxy. But as they prepared for the final battle, they knew that their greatest weapon was not found in ancient texts or mystical artifacts, but in the unity and courage of those who stood beside them. For in the face of darkness, it was the bonds of friendship and camaraderie that would light the way forward, guiding them through the darkest of nights to a brighter tomorrow. And so, with hearts full of hope and determination, the crew of the Vortex Wanderer set out once more into the cosmos, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. For though the road ahead would be long and fraught with peril, they knew that as long as they stood together, they would never falter in their quest to bring light to the darkest corners of the universe.